Hello, friends in Miami. Thanks for having me here to this great conference. I am Chris Chu, the co-founder of InBTC. I, I also co-founded two mining pools, Pooling and BTC.com. Today, I want to share with you some living conditions. Living conditions of Chinese miners under this background. By the end of 5th July, more than 95% of the mining rigs in China have been shut down and offline. At the same time, the strongest supervision in history is still going on. The Internet Supervision Department can find out mining behaviors from the big data and then the network will be disconnected. Also, the Power Supervision Department can locate our mining activities from the electricity consumption variations, and then they will come to check and cut off the power. Besides, banks can recognize the Bitcoin-related transactions, and guess what will happen? Your account freeze. I believe in near future, more than 99% miners will be offline, and Chinese mining farm will be completely history. Given that we were one of the largest maintenance and, and hosting companies in China, these above are very close to the facts. These things have nothing to do with carbon emissions. The, the mining farm where my mining machines located began to discharge floods the next day after, just after the power off. That means a huge amount of clean energy was wasted in, in vain. We have to know that at least 19% mining farms in Sichuan use clean energy. Not, not, not only clean hydropower, but even abandoned hydropower. Because Sichuan is so far away from the developed cities in, in eastern China, most hydropower will be abandoned or, or wasted. On the other hand, Chinese miners are looking for good place overseas. The main target of Chinese miners are Central Asia and North America, especially Kazakhstan, the United States, and Canada. However, this has not been so easy. Idle rigs in China require a total of 5 to 8 gigawatt power. No country can provide so much power in a short period of time. I mean, I mean 110 volts or, or, or 380 volts directly usable and, and idle. For Chinese miners, who are curious about mining immigration, they are also worried about encountering various frauds, thieves, and forced actions, uh, especially from tax-related regulations and supervision. Anyone can foresee that the next year will be a tough year, that many crime cases of mining or transactions will happen. Under these situations, many Chinese miners are selling their machines. Many of them are our good partners. They trust us to, to match buyers from other countries. If you or your friends want to buy a mining machine below the market price, you can scan the QR code of our sales and, and check by telegram. Our booth is at number 50, 51 in BDC Mining Service. Thanks again for having me here. Thanks Miami. I hope you all have received the t-shirt. I love Bitcoin t-shirt from, from us. If not, we will keep giving out the t-shirt at summits in the United States. Thank you all.